So guys, we've done some work on backspin, we've done some work on side spin. What about top spin? Now, as I've alluded to previously, the thing with eight ball pool is the cue ball is smaller and lighter than the object balls. This means in topping the ball forward, putting top spin on the cue ball is a lot harder than backspin. Why is that? The reason for it is, is the middle of the cue ball doesn't hit the middle of the object ball. So effectively it stops first before it goes forward because the impact of, of the smaller cue ball hitting the bigger object ball is stopping it and then allowing it to go forward. So you've got to account for this when playing a topspin shot. What I'm going to demonstrate to you the first time around is when two balls, the cue ball and the object ball is the same size, this is what happens. If you've ever if you played snooker or American pool, the both balls are the same size. The top spin is very consistent because the center ball is in the center ball. So I'm just going to demonstrate this by hitting an object ball against object ball to get onto the eight ball. And I want to show you the two differences. So first and foremost, object ball versus object ball, both the same weight, both the same size. This is what happens. So you see how easy the first ball, in this instance, the cue ball effectively, but we know it's not because it's an object ball, it's an object ball, nice and smoothly ran through the object ball very, very easily with no effort whatsoever. This time around, I'm going to play it at the same speed, it's executed the same, but I want you to notice where the cue ball lands when hitting a big or heavy object ball. Let's have a go. So there you see guys, the cue ball was hit at the same speed, the same tempo, but look how much further back it was when it had finished completing its rotations. And that is because the cue ball is lighter and smaller than the object ball, so it stops and then goes. The first instance, with both balls the same size, there was no impact at all. There was no restriction. As soon as that first ball hit the second ball, it was moving forward because that's what it was instructed to do. This is very, very, very important for anybody that's played another cue sport before where both balls are the same size. It's a different strike, it's a different hit. How does that come into play when talking about playing shots with topspin? So, we're gonna have a situation. There's the red ball, okay? And there's, there's the eight ball. So what's gonna happen here is, is that if I get a little bit stiff and I don't hit this smoothly, what's gonna happen is the cue ball is gonna be instructed without you realizing it to not have any energy moving forward. Effectively, you're almost gonna tell it not to go forward how you want to because you're gonna get a slight, slight delay that you're not accounting for. So first time round, I'm gonna go high on the white, but I'm gonna firm the grip of the cue. And watch where the cue ball ends. That is what we call a stun run through shot. Not an easy shot to play with a smaller ball, but however, in this instance, it wasn't what we was intending to do because we're trying to get nice and neat on the eight ball. We want to play the same shot again, but we have to be a lot, lot looser with the grip. Very, very, very barely having it in our hands, but still keeping control of it so we don't get that slight stun effect that we're not wanting to get and allowing that cue ball to stop it in the bigger ball and then motoring on through. Let's have another go.
So there you have it guys, hit exactly the same place, just a lot smoother, the cue a little bit delicate in my hands, so I didn't get any resistance at all on the impact between the cue ball and the object ball, followed through perfectly on the eight. Like, subscribe, comment down below, see you in the next one.